Good morning, everyone. It's 8.02, and we're here waiting at the vet for them to come out and get Miggy for his dental, and he's not happy. <laughs> he's been whining ever since I put his harness on. Grant did good last night. Um, he was really whiny um, from the anesthesia, but this morning he was bouncing around. He was happy uh, to get up. I put a sock on him, one of my socks, and wrapped some press and seal um, around the sock, and that kept it, kept everything dry. So um, the walkie paw that I was going to use would not fit over the. It's really the bandage is really thick around the paw part, and we couldn't get the plastic part over it. And we didn't want to struggle with it and hurt him, so um, we just used one of my socks, wrapped some press and seal on him, and he was good to go. And he's been going out and going potty and. Um, he's doing great, so gave him a pain pill this morning, um, and we'll see how he does the rest of the day. So I'm going to sit here, wait for them to call me and tell me they're coming out to get Miggy. So I also forgot he's got a little bump on the side of his left leg, kind of by his hip. Just a little bump, just a cystic thing to get off. So, oh, here she comes. All right. All right, Miggy's dropped off. He was... <laughs> He was very whiny and did not want to go in there. <laughs> oh, poor Mickey. Um, so now I'm on my way to Meyer. I'm going to see. It's been hard to find that press and seal um, since this whole COVID thing. So I'm going to head to Meyer and hopefully I'm here early enough. Hopefully they stocked some last night uh, and see if I can get a couple rolls since. Grant's going to be having this um, bandage on his foot for three weeks, I believe. So, yeah, so I'm going to head into Meyer over here. It's 8-11. That was a quick check-in. We were the only ones there this morning, so they must not have any other surgeries going on. Just Miggy, so hopefully he'll get tons of attention. So, um, yeah, so last night I took that blue wrap off of Grant's bandage and... His toenail had popped through the bandage on the end. So Dr. Deckner had texted me about 10 o'clock last night asking how he was doing um, with his medications and everything, making sure he's peeing and pooping. Did he eat anything? So I texted him a picture of his toenail popped through. And he said, oh, that's perfectly fine. Uh, just keep it dry. He'll be fine till um, I take him in. I'm taking them in the fourth uh, to get that bandage uh, rewrapped, taken off and rewrapped on his foot, and he'll check it over. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna head in here and grab a couple things and then head home. Thought I'd show you what I got going on for Grant if I can catch up to him. I have a sock over his bandage, and then I've got press and seal over the sock. And that of course is a schnauzer sock. <laughs> it's one of my schnauzer socks. It is sprinkling right now. Let's see if I can keep the camera from wobbling since I'm zoomed in. You stop worrying about his bandage. And that's been working. That's been working. He's walking good. He's doing good. He's not whined it all this morning except when I was getting his food ready he said hurry up <laughs> um yeah he's been doing really good so um I think the sock and the press and seal is gonna work out I found a two two of the bigger size boxes at Meyer. they had two on the shelf so I grabbed them <laughs> and I'm sure I'm at Meyer all the time so I'm sure I can check um again when I'm there in a couple days or so and see if they have any more I guess the key is to go early after they've stocked over the night. So, yeah, stand on good. So if anybody needs to cover up a bandage, press and seal works great. I take a piece, wrap at the bottom of the foot, and then I take another smaller piece and wrap the top kind of to hold it in place. So it's been working really good. All right, guys, I'll be back later. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this. I said they told me that, that I probably won't hear from them until around noon. Um, to see how Miggy's doing. So um, I will check back in in a little bit and 
tell you how he does from his dental. So it's cold guys. It's 38 and it's sprinkling. Yes. All right. I'll be back. All right. I just came in and thought I better show, um, uh, you guys what press and seal is because I know a lot of you live in different countries who watch our channel and maybe you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so press and seal is kind of like plastic wrap. Let me get my one that's open out. <laughs> the drawer here. Um, it's kind of like uh, plastic wrap except it sticks better. Oh, if I can even get it. Okay. It sticks better to itself. It sticks to bowls better. It sticks to everything better. I love this stuff. But at, when I wrap it on his foot, this stuff will all stick to each other and won't come off. Um, so that's why I like using this, even without covering up bandages. <laughs> it's wonderful. I love this stuff. So I thought I'd show you what I'm talking about. Okay. So let's get to doing some laundry. I think I'm going to lay down for a little bit here too. It's 921 right now in the morning. I think I'm going to lay down for a little bit because I'm feeling a little plugged up. <clears throat> I'm having some sinus issues and, uh, I feel on the greatest and I didn't sleep the greatest either um, last night because I was constantly look at Magnum. What are you looking at, Magnum? What are you looking at? Oh, there's Milo down there. <laughs> there. Must be something out there. Something he sees. Um, I didn't sleep the greatest either because I was constantly turning the flashlight on on my phone. Um, to check on Grant, make sure he wasn't messing with his bandage because they had a cone on his head and oh my goodness, he was miserable. So I took the cone off um, and he has not messed with it at all. So um, yeah, but I was still up. Like it seemed like every hour checking to make sure he was okay. So I am extremely tired um, and I'm having some horrible drainage. So I think I'm going to fold my load of laundry that I got going in the dryer and then Take some aspirin and lay down because I cannot afford to get sick right now. No, I cannot. I can never afford it, but really not right now. All right, guys, we'll be back. Miggy, Miggy, tell everyone you only had to have one tooth taken out. Yes, just one tooth, one big molar. It had, um, when they did the dental x-rays, um, she didn't think she was going to have to take any teeth. What are you doing? What are you sniffing? Is there a cookie in there? Um, she didn't think she was going to have to take any teeth, but once she did the, um, x-rays and looked at them, she saw that one of his big molars had two abscess on it. So that is the reason why we get dental x-rays done because you can't always see everything by just looking at the tooth. You can't see what's going on underneath it in the gums. So... Yes, yeah, so one tooth, one tooth. Mickey says, get me home. Stop talking, get me home. Yes, I wanna go home and see my brothers. <laughs> so he's got um, a couple sutures in his teeth um, that he, they'll dissolve, um, but I'll have to take him back in 10 days. I think I gotta take him back November 6th to get the stitches out where they took that bump off him. He's got three little stitches, so. So you'll have to go back and get your stitches out, Miggy. Yes. All right, guys. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to get home. I took a nice nap. Two-hour nap. <laughs> I took a two-hour nap. I never take two-hour naps. Um, I feel a lot better. Um, took some medicine. My, my sinuses seem to be dried up a little bit. Oh my goodness. I'm just, this, it's the weather. It's the weather change. Fall, spring and fall. I always have bad sinus problems, so um, we're going to get home, make some dinner, um, and let Mickey sleep off this anesthesia, so. Alright guys, we'll see you guys again in the next video, and maybe a couple days before I have another video out, because it's just been a, <laughs> it's been a busy couple, past couple days, so um, maybe I'll have a video out Friday. Okay guys, we'll see you again soon. Bye.